Is it some devil that crawls inside of you? Hello, everyone. Is there anything better than watching people fucking hurt themselves while they're working out on the internet? I love working out. Don't get me wrong. I love going to the gym. I love fucking getting shredded, whatever. But not as much as I love more attractive people getting hurt on the internet thinking they could do fucking pull-ups in public on some old rusty bar. I just watched this dude fucking six-pack and everything, totally flexing it when he's doing his fucking... Uh, muscle ups or whatever the tits he's doing and he just breaks the fucking bar off the pillars it's on and just did anyways fucking snaps it breaks it falls out of frame funniest shit i fucking hate you people working out in public you gross ass people um well, welcome back, guys. This is the Bad Etiquette Podcast, episode 59, 60? I don't even know. I've been doing the Map Brain Podcast and then just kind of like got a little sidetracked with that. Not sidetracked, but like it's easy to be distracted when you have some severe fucking attention deficit bullshit going on. Um, Hey, how you doing? How's everyone holding up? You guys enjoying being at home? I'm enjoying... Um, uh, for Hannah, excuse me. Um, I'm enjoying being away from work, but I'm not enjoying not making money. If that makes sense, I think we can all kind of relate to that. Unless you love what you do and you're one of those people. Ugh. Um. I am catching up on some TV shows. That's cool. Spending a lot of time with Kylie. That's cool. Um, I can't really, I don't know, like, I want to be outside more. I got to be honest, part of me hopes it fucking doesn't go back. I hope it kind of stays the same. I hope this bullshit, like, some of it sticks. You know what I mean? I don't want to see you fucking people out here anymore. I don't want to see... Now, I think, like, more than ever, we should all realize you guys should stay home. You know who I'm talking about. You know who. Like, you nasty-ass people. You fucking in-the-way people. You fucking annoying, ugly, stinky, stupid heads need to just stay home. Dude, I drove across town. It took 20 seconds. It was amazing. It was amazing. I ran all the red lights because there was no one else in the other fucking cross streets. Just went through all the way through them. There was no cops bothering me about it because they're like, what's a law to break if there's no danger to be had? You know, I don't know. They, they weren't doing that shit. But, oh my God. Jesus, man. It's so nice. Even when you're like doing the mission of like going to the grocery store and... You're not looking at people like no one makes eye contact. It's amazing. Everyone stays the fuck out of your way. It's amazing. You walk down an aisle, people move instead of standing there blocking the aisle with their fucking carts and their stupid jerk off kids that should have been ended up at the bottom of a sock and not in some dumb whore's pussy. Fuck, dude, I'm going to miss this. Eventually, this is going to go back to, like, normal, gross reality where everyone... We're three, four minutes in. Sorry, guys. This is the Bad Etiquette Podcast. I'm your host, Dallas Bronson. This is what we're doing. This is how we do it. I'm not... I'm not... I I can't... What are you going to do? Come over? I'm going to cough on you. Fuck you. How about that? Jesus. Oh. You know what sucks is there's like a bunch of cool birthdays coming up and we're not even going to be able to celebrate them. We got uh, Hannah, the, you know, the girl that I talk about when I burp every time I say, every time I burp, I say for Hannah because we, some of you know why, but for for the rest of you, it doesn't matter. Um, Her birthday's coming up. She's going to be like 30. I think she's really old. Um, She doesn't wipe either. She's probably going 
through this corona thing like the easiest having no toilet paper because she doesn't wipe anyways like she just cleans herself off in the ocean like and that's 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 how so that's i think she'll be all right but yeah she's gonna be like 34 on saturday and then kylie's birthday is coming up damn um i hope she wants like binoculars and like a security camera and like some something fucking paranoid some paranoid gifts like that for her birthday that's what i'll probably get her um and then yours truly it's uh uh you know my birthday coming up um right around hitler's birthday um we got those aren't the same um who else al pacino's birthday coming up yeah, that's a cool guy um cory duffel's birthday is on the 11th fucking there you go um geez april like is usually the best month but it also might be the shittiest fucking month coming up considering how things are going we'll see i'm not oh it's my dad's birthday he's gonna be a senior citizen coming up oh man jesus i don't know what to do anymore Ugh, he's officially an old man and i'm officially a man I think that's what that means. I'll be 25. He'll be 55. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh, he'll be 55. He needs to watch out with this whole Corona thing. He's not going to make it to 56. Pfft. Don't put that energy out into the air, Dallas. That's your dad. That's not nice. That's, you're right. That's not nice. It's not. There's people who are like 55 and older around, you know? Right? You guys still hang out? You guys go in public, right? You guys listen to podcasts, right? I'd be surprised if anyone 55 or older knew how to work this. So if you do, please, like, you know, dial me up on your rotary phone or something and call me and be like, Aah. you know, do some fuck. I, I, the entire bit fell apart right there when I didn't have, like, a cultural reference for some old person other than rotary phone. That was, like, my big, that was the punchline. I'm sorry. <sighs> Man. Whew. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, huh, what do you guys been? What do you guys been up to? I don't want to like just talk about mundane things on here, but I've just been at home doing mundane kind of things. You guys found out any cool things about your house? Um, like for like that first couple of days there, someone's like, "Oh, been at home for three days. Uh, there's a lady sitting here." She tells me her she's my wife. She seems nice. <laughs> Just like the fucking dumbest, hackiest, dumb dad joke crap. Um, that shit's gone. But do, if you guys like found things out about your house, I found out like the stains on the toilet seat were removable. So that's nice. They're like... I thought I had just rubbed the pain away from my big fat ass sitting on it. And so I thought like the ring around my toilet seat was just like abrasion. You know when you sit on like chairs for too long or like, you know, when like sprinklers hit a certain part of the fence, it like gets whiter and lighter. Like I just thought it was like that. No, those were fucking things. I could have been scrubbing off my toilet this whole time. Dude, I've had like 30 different people here as guests and uh, i'm pretty sure almost all of them have used the bathroom just had to sit there and see that i'm sorry everyone i wonder how many people hovered or how many girls hovered they're doing the hover there's no proof that like every girl doesn't just fucking cowgirl the toilet and it rest her elbows on the tank but anyways i'm not trying to talk about my female guests using the bathroom that's not appropriate then everyone's gonna know that I'm thinking about it when they go next time. Fuck, God, I gotta cut this out of here. Jonathan, cut this out. I don't cut things out. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, Jesus. I'm not even ten minutes in. I feel like I've been doing this for hours. Have you guys gotten any reading done? I haven't done any reading whatsoever. Like, I tried... Before all this shit happened, I would suck at reading. I have so many books. I don't read any of them. I don't read. I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, and just nine books that I took out of my truck that I wasn't reading. You know what the shitty thing is? There's like a 
two of them that are just short stories, and I can't even finish those. So embarrassing. What do you... <sighs> so weird. But yeah, no, being outside is a trip right now. Because you go places like to the beach or on a hike or a park, and there's people there. There's more people there. It's just like, what the fuck? Like, I usually come here to get away from people because there's never anyone here. And you assholes are still out here. Why do people fucking think like, this is the worst part. This is the worst part. I just want to be away from people. But all the people who are like, oh, where can I go to be away from people? Oh, where there are fucking people. There's other people there. Fucking assholes. It's serious. It's fucking the worst. It's so shitty. I'm just, God, like, this is my dream. Like, I'm so happy to be away from people and there's less people around, but also like, I don't got any material coming up. I can't fucking think of, I don't know. I've written one joke in this whole fucking, fucking quarantine thing this entire time. I mean, I have countless like Corona bits, but like one like real life, like took it. Oh, this happened, and now I'm gonna turn it into a joke, and then it's gonna be, you know, <laughs> punchline. But fucking, ah, jeez, the Corona thing. It's all anyone's gonna talk about, and all of the jokes are gonna be butchered and hacky and dumb, and they're already like cringy. I can't stand it, dude. All the me- like, there's a big lull, and everything's just like shitty right now, and all the jokes suck, and the memes are shitty, like. Dude, three, four days in, I you saw every joke made. There's no new fucking, like, take on it. I just want to see, like, what this uh, fucking <sighs> material famine's going to do to comedians and, like, what they're going to end up talking about and saying. Because some of them are probably going to break some, like, r- new ground and we're going to go into a w- cool place. And what I really want to do is just sit here and write jokes and just lose my fucking mind inward and just type and talk about shit and fuck, man. I just want to sit here and just like download all of my thoughts onto a piece of paper or a page and just fucking let it out. You know, you got to you got to get the shitty stuff out to get to the good stuff, which is why we got we got to get through all the dumb tweets and stupid memes and all the rehashed jokes and the hacky bullshit cuz that's when the really good stuff comes up and it's going to show up and it's going to be really funny. <sighs> like I had a joke at the beginning of this that I was uh I, I posted it. It was my original thought. I thought it individually and I typed it so everyone would know that I'm not taking it from something. I'm typing this, but what do you know? I fucking posted it. And now I'm seeing memes with the same setup like joke. You know, I, um, I posted, I was like, um, I hope one of the side of symptoms of coronavirus isn't having a big old cock. Cause if so, I'm sick as fuck. And now I'm seeing all these, they do the, the, the test results back where it's like, Oh, H I V herpes, you know, negative, negative, negative coronavirus, negative, big old cock positive. <laughs> fucking, Oh, you're fucking so funny. Dallas, you hack, you fucking dumb bastard. I, I was never taught not to cuss. I, I just didn't cuss around, like, people that would annoy me about cussing. You know what I mean? The only reason I don't cuss around certain people is I was cussing in, like, elementary school, and some parent heard it. Some parent of another fucking dumb kid heard me say, damn, or hell, one of those big, you know, sins of words and lost her stupid Karen shit, dude. She was classic Karen, you know, that fucking trope that's been beaten to death on the internet. God, if only this lady could have been beaten to death. And it's just like the only people who have a problem with cuss words are boring people that no one wants to fuck. They had one kid, it's one time they had sex and now there's just gross, 
like you could t- like she had, didn't have a ring on her finger like this lady was divorced she heard me say damn or hell in elementary school lost her shit just like she lost her shit on her husband and she was like oh i i, I have control issues and i couldn't control that man and i gotta control this little kid because he said four letters <laughs> fucking hate you people i'm not gonna stop their words they're fucking words it doesn't even like ah uh, you know i don't know I just I'm I'm self aware to the point where I'm like oh th- those are a lot of cuss words maybe like you know improve your vernacular get a bigger lexicon Dallas maybe your vocabulary could increase suck my ass how about that how about that I kn- I can use big words I can have an extensive vocabulary but like I fucking why it's so I have better breath I breathe better I go <laughs> yeah fuck 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 shit fuck 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 balls cunt balls I haven't said cunt in a while hey guys guess what cunt there we go 15 minutes we're good i'm fine i just need to let this shit out so like when i go hang out with kylie or i'm around my mom or something i don't just lose my shit and get angry over like dumb little crap just fucking point it out oh today's gonna be a good day though it's fucking i'm almost out of coffee here i need to go refill in a second i'm gonna go i'm gonna go i'm gonna go i'm gonna go I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go get some coffee. I'll be right back. I gotta, ooh, I gotta chill. I gotta let myself breathe. Be right back. And I'm back. I just I grabbed. I went downstairs, grabbed the coffee, came back and hit hit record. I'm back. There was no lapse. There was like, it was like thirty seconds tops. I'm back. I'm still out of breath. I'm out of breath from climbing the stairs. Jesus, I'm fat. Jeez, not working out, not fucking going to jujitsu fucking every day is. <sighs> murder, dude. Oh, man. I fucking strangled my pillow again. And I just was like, I, I got this. I just put it in a rear naked choke, put it to sleep, fell asleep on it. It was great. Pillow went to sleep. I went to sleep. It was romantic. Woke up. He had me in a triangle. It was embarrassing. <sighs> <sighs> Okay, I'm better. I breathed. I'm good. I'm over it. I'm fine. You know what? You know what's something really fucking cool? My neighbor stopped screaming at his kids. Like, that's how much being at home, like, around his kids and, like, everything has helped them. Don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure, like, any moment now, the hell that is having neighbors in an apartment complex will pick up pick right on up and they'll just be loud and obnoxious and i'm gonna think about calling the cops but snitches get stitches so i'm just gonna let them hurt each other fucking uh, it's been nice i haven't heard him scream or yell at his kids in like three four days now big deal because before then it was every day every single fucking day for i don't know one two years i don't know how long they've been here I don't know. Yeah, I think it's been about maybe one year, maybe two years. Not even two years. Maybe a year. Maybe they've been here a year. I don't know. My last neighbor, he was a cool guy. He was quiet. He was like the Air Force. He had a dog. The only loud thing about him was like he'd leave his dog home and his dog would yelp. That kind of sucks. But one time he left his iPod and it was like a nice iPod. It was like iPod Touch. Had like, you know two million songs or whatever on it he left it he dropped it outside and i was walking by and i like saw it and i was like oh shit like cool an ipod touch but i was like oh it's right in front of my neighbor's house this is probably his so i knocked on the door and i was like hey dude did you drop this and he's like oh yeah thank you he's like super quick about it just like oh shit like grabbed it closed the door you know it's super brief and i was like oh i'm cool well either that was his or he was like oh sure free ipod and either way congratulations cool neighbor here you go. Here's your iPod touch. And then like six to nine months later, like a long time later, um, he's like outside chilling with his dog. You know, I waved to him like, Hey, what's up? You know, and I'm wearing a black Sabbath t-shirt cause I have nine black Sabbath t-shirts. That's not an exaggeration. I have nine. Um, and he's like, obviously he's noticed every time he sees me, I'm probably wearing either a black Sabbath t-shirt or I'm taking off a black Sabbath t-shirt to put on another black Sabbath t-shirt. And he fucking is like, hey, dude, you like Sabbath. Hold on. Stay right there. And I was like, okay. Thinking he's going to like run out and be like, mega death, bitch, and shoot me. Even though, you know, it's not a Metallica shirt. Anyway, you metalheads get it. Conflicts, whatever. 
And he fucking, he's like, I never thanked you for, uh, you know, giving me my iPod back. And I was like, oh shit, that was you. It doesn't even look like you. Like it totally didn't. Like he had a mustache. It was gone. I don't know. Maybe he was fatter. Maybe he lost weight. I don't know. Air Force workout, whatever. And he gave me fucking, uh, Black Sabbath's live evil or evil live or whatever the fuck it is. It's like the palindrome of a name word. Excuse me. Hold on. Oh, God, that burp sounded like it came out of my ass for Hannah. She doesn't wipe. Um, she's fine in the corona apocalypse. He gave me a fucking record, like a vinyl record. And he's like, I have two of these. And I was like, oh, thank you. You just needed to like get rid of some shit. I understand. But no, he gave me a fucking free record. And I was like, holy shit, this is so cool. See, so guys, if you do something nice, like find an iPod and return it to its rightful owner, nine months down the road, you might get something free out of it. That's not nearly of equal value. So keep being nice, you know. It, it's nice guys. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I don't know why it sound, I sound like I'm bitter about getting a free record. It's literally the coolest fucking Black Sabbath live record that I've heard. Strictly because on Snowblind, in between verses, Ozzy shouts cocaine. Because for those of you who don't know, Ozzy is... Uh, oh, Oz, oh, hold on. No, I fucked up. I'm saying Ozzy. The song Snowblind. Snowblind? Fuck. God damn, dude. Fucking got retard lips going on over here. Um, <sighs> the Black Sabbath song Snowblind is about, you guessed it, cocaine. So it, it, at the end of the first verse, there's this little whisper. There's a little whisper and Ozzy goes cocaine and it's super cool and mystical and then the rest of the song there's no mention of cocaine it's just the only obvious allusion to like we're doing coke bitch so in this live recording in between each verse ozzy goes cocaine and just it's amazing and just goes cocaine i wish i could play it for you but you know maybe i can't hold on hold on all right we're gonna do a number now of our volume four album the number of titled Snowblind. <laughs> Come easily 
Okay. And then as you, the end of that was the intro to Children of the Grave called Embryo. It's this little 30 second guitar interlude. It's amazing. It's super catchy. And some of you skateboarding fans and Strange Notes fans might recognize it from the Andrew Reynolds commercials on one of those free skate videos we used to get from like the skate shops. There was this old, like when uh, Andrew Reynolds first got on Indie, he had his pro model truck come out and there was a little commercial. It wasn't even a commercial. It was literally just a picture of him doing a frontside flip, obviously, and his trucks were on there. And it had the down, 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 and that was embryo. But anyways, so yeah, there it is. There we have it. That was Snowblind. There's no rules on this podcast, and I got to be honest, I'm just thankful people are listening. And if you didn't like that, and maybe you skipped ahead because you're like, I can barely hear this shit, Dallas. What the fuck? That's cool, too. Um, I, I totally got the name of the album wrong. What I called it Evil Live, Live Evil. But I think that might be a Judas Priest album. Now I'm really confused. Um, But it's actually called Past Lives. So I don't even know if I knew about this. This came out in 2016. So this is like really new. And I didn't even actually know about it. But the guy gave it to me. He just fucking gave me excuse me a copy for rescuing his ipod and now i get to share it with you guys years down the road here so yeah uh there we have it that was i'm gonna do more of that dumb shit as soon as i was like plugging the record player and i was like oh yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna be really dumb and keep doing shit like this so expect more of whatever the fuck i want on here i mean come on so i mean I would also like your guys' feedback, but, you know, you guys don't really give me a lot of feedback, and I don't really mind. That's cool, too. I like maybe you just, you know, I actually, someone reached out recently. I haven't spoken to him in a while. He just checking in on me, thankfully. You know, people are very nice. People have been very friendly, and I think it's cool that everyone's checking in on each other, making sure you're okay, making sure everyone has enough food to eat, you know, staying healthy and safe. And he said, hey, I've been really enjoying the podcast. You know, keep up the good work. And I was like, oh, shit, dude, that means so much. Because it's always when I feel like I'm doing bad or I'm not doing enough with a podcast or that I don't think I'm delivering enough actual podcast that I think people will say things like that. And it's like this really cool, helpful reminder. And like it's like when there's a lull in my productivity, uh, you guys just thank you so much for supporting the podcast. And like all messages even if they're critical ones i'm like thank god i'm in inter- someone's interacting with me someone likes me it means a great deal i really appreciate it um i'm gonna cry not really it just sounded like i was gonna cry i could tell in my voice it like cracked a little I was like um. Whew, i'm just stoked on that black sabbath i think everyone needs to put a record on first thing in the morning and you'll be fine you're just gonna feel better I feel so much better. I feel significantly awesomer. Some good old Black Sabbath. I might just turn this off, keep listening to Black Sabbath. I might just record a whole fucking listening session of Black Sabbath. You know what I want to do? Do they still have that Periscope thing? Joey Diaz used to do this thing. He used to have the morning joint or whatever, and you just wake up, smoke a J, and fucking talk shit to people on Periscope, but like in an encouraging way, in a nice way, not like, you know, shit talking kind of way. That sounds awesome. I just want to wake up in the morning, spark up a doob, and listen to some records and just record it and, like, talk to you people. That also sounds super douchey because we all know those people who just record videos of them smoking blunts and joints. Like, oh, man, save some cool for me, bro. Damn. Just keep away from my girlfriend or Pussies flooding the room, cool guy. Fucking hate people like that. You're not cool. You're not cool. You're, what are you, 25? Stop. I'm almost 25. Stop doing that shit, people. If you're recording videos of you just smoking weed, like, the train has left the station. You've peaked. You've all, you're on the back nine of cool. You have no longer are going to be cool ever again. You might have been really cool back in the day, maybe a little mysterious, or maybe you've always just been so high, you've been stuck up your own fucking ass and not been, like, clear-minded enough to tell, like, oh, this is stupid, oh, this is shitty, oh, this is lame. Also, I just noticed something really cool, kind of, uh, the, um, 
on the intro, Ozzy's saying, "Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna play another one." You know that shit Ozzy does. He's uh, he said, "Oh, we're gonna play another one off of our album titled Volume 4. And on my record player, the shell, the dust cover that covers the record, so it doesn't get all dusty. I have a sticker and it says, "Listen to Volume 4." What do you think of that, bitches? Personally, I'm not really like Volume 4 is like number four ranked on Black Sabbath records for me. I could take it or leave it. I like three songs really, really well. Really, what's up? It's not even right words. Do you ever just say enough words like they don't make sense anymore? I'm sure you guys listen to plenty of mine. and You're like, "Mm, I don't think any of those make sense, Dallas. But all right, here we go. Here we go. Back to focus land. Back to focusing. You know what? This is the perfect time to go skate. All of these businesses are closed. I'm going to go skate in front of them. I wish I could just go fucking kick it with my friends, film some fucking skate videos. At the beginning of the year, or actually not even at the beginning, the end of last year, November, I told myself that I was going to film a skate video. I made this big fucking deal. I made a post about it. I included all these old clips from last year that I had recorded and I put them together, put a little song on it, didn't get the rights for the music, but I used it anyways, just like when I recorded that Black Sabbath song 10 minutes ago, five minutes ago, whatever. And I was like, I'm going to fucking make a skate video. I made a list of tricks. I made a list of spots I wanted to go to. I made a list of things I wanted to try. And I even made a list of skate videos and uh, pro skaters to watch to get me pumped. Like I have a whole notebook sitting two inches from the computer I'm recording this on. And It has all of that shit in there right now. It has like a ton. Here, I'm going to go find it. Maybe I can list off some of the tricks to see if any of this shit makes sense. Like, I'm dead serious. Like, and the worst part is like, none of them are like terribly difficult tricks because I'm not that good of a skateboarder. I just wanted to do um, certain. So here, here's tricks. So I want to do like pivots, fakies, nose picks, bean plants, fast plants, fast Fast, fast plants, foot plants, no complies, step hops, bonuses, slappies, hurricanes, power slides, wall rides, wally, finger flips, nose bonks, firecrackers, not a spin, hippie jump, air walks, uh, pole jam, crail slides, kick flip, bone, li- we, we just all kinds of like weird fucking shit that no one gives a shit about because they're dork tricks, but they're like what I'm really good at because I'm a fucking dork, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty self-explanatory. And then just like, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Just like a lot of nobody tricks I wanted to do. But anyways, there's all kinds of fucking places that are closed right now. What are they going to do? Come run outside like, hey, stop skateboarding on my business. You're scaring off the customers that aren't showing up because they're quarantined and I have a a non-essential business. So you can do your fucking crooked grinds on my handrails outside. Uh, it's perfect. It's the perfect thing to do. Why wouldn't we just go do it? I want to go skate so bad. Maybe I'll just wear gloves everywhere. Like just have like a daily pair of gloves, put them on. So everything I touch that day is just like, I skated it. It's fine. It's gone. And then at the end of the day, I wash the gloves. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. <sighs> it doesn't make any sense, but that's essentially what I've been doing. Oh my God. There's so many things people could be doing and I know I might get to them eventually, but I just, you could be painting, you could be drawing, you could be writing stuff, you could be exercising, you could be, um, I don't know. What else is there to do? That's really all I care about. Um, you could be reading. Did I say reading? Fuck. There's all kinds of like cool little things. You could design, you could learn something on the internet. You could take a course, you could take online courses, you could learn a language. I tried learning Russian a couple of years ago. You know, um, not easy. Did not learn any Russian whatsoever, but yeah, I tried. You could even try. There's this cool website called Stumble Upon where it just like you just click a bunch of cool things you're kind of interested in and it just surfs you around the internet and just fucking drops you on these websites they're like here you go how's this 
is this cool? And you're like, oh shit, this is cool. What is this? And I stumbled upon some really cool shit. And that's almost how I learned to learned Russian. It's pretty cool. That's how I almost learned Russian. <sighs> These solo ones are a fucking humdinger of a podcast. It's such a, you can, now you can understand how scatterbrained I am and how close I am to interrupting every guest that I have on here because I'm always like it's like a fucking pinball machine but like you never drop the balls like it just keeps going like you never run out of balls to use I don't know if you guys ever ever played with a pinball machine but it's kind of like this (sighs) this would be a great time for pinball wizard to just bust into the fucking podcast episode (sighs) maybe I shouldn't have done all that acid Anyways, uh, not right now. I just mean like back in the day, I feel like a lot of this is just reminiscent of like why my mind keeps going to the left, to the right, north, south, east, west, coast. I don't know. (sighs) Jesus. Jesus fucking Christ. Glad Anthony Bourdain is not here to see this. You know, not my podcast. He wouldn't see that. But I'm so glad that Asia Argento turned out to be a pedophile herself and literally broke Anthony Bourdain's heart and he went and killed himself over it. So thanks, bitch. Um, Your dad hasn't made a good movie in many years. (sighs) It's almost worth not having Suspiria in this world. Like the last good thing to come out of Dario Argento like was not Asia Argento, was not his daughter. I don't even know if I'm saying these names right, but they're both probably dead because they're both Italian right now. I mean, they've always been Italian, but right now they're Italian. (laughs) Um, I can't believe... Jesus Christ. And then John Prine is hospitalized. He's probably dead by the time you're listening to this. My heart is broken right now. I don't know if you guys are super romantic or anything, but me and Kylie have this song. And if you like John Prine, I'm pretty sure you know what song it is. It's kind of an obvious one, but it's also a really sweet song. Fucking... Jesus Christ, John Prine might die because of some fucking pangolin bat disease bullshit. And people, oh my God, this is so shitty. It's weird. There's like musicians dying left and right right now. I know you like maybe you guys have a non-eclectic music taste. Maybe you guys just aren't as enlightened as me. Maybe you don't have as much music diversity as I do. But, like, a lot of musicians I follow are dying. There's, like, been three that have died. Joe Diffie died, you know? All of the fucking cool country pages I follow are like, oh, hell no. (laughs) Oh, what the hell? You know? So, fuck. That's a bummer, dude. The guy from Ramstein, Ramstein, whatever, they said he might have coronavirus, but then he was like, no, he doesn't. It's fine. Fuck, dude. It's so weird. I'm still supposed to be going back to work, I hope, next week. But then I wake up and there's all this fucking shit about like, no, April is canceled. April, even worse. You thought March was bad. Well, guess what? Stay inside, fat bitch. Okay. Okay. Dude, I cannot wait to get back to jujitsu. I'm so fucking... I can feel, like, my body getting nerdier and my brain getting weaker and, like, my stupid fucking... uh. Although it's nice, like, my shoulders have been kind of torn up from fucking getting torn. (laughs) Um, I think they're healing. I think it's nice. They're not being like constantly torn at. They're kind of healing, kind of getting a little bit of muscle uh, uh, growth or strength, you know, get a little strength back, but I don't know. What the fuck do I know about anatomy? I know that I have a big head and average dick. That's all there is to it. That's anatomy to me. (sighs) Hmm. Dude, I finally got my oil changed yesterday. Went to my sister's, my brother, my brother and sister's, whatever. They live together. Um, And I got to see Remy the dog and he's so fucking cute. And he, oh my God, I know you guys, longtime listeners are probably like, oh, where is Remy? I miss Remy. Me too. Remy the dog. (sighs) I missed him so much. He was so cute. He got cold 
Well, we were doing the oil change. He was sitting in the driver's seat. He was like, I, I, I got this. In case things get crazy, I'm going to start the car. I'm going to get us out of here. He, you know, he, he's like, I got this. I called shotgun, but he got cold. So I went and got my blanket out of the bag and like wrapped him up. And was like, there you go, you fucking cute little puppy. God damn. There's nothing better than a dog to have like in the, I seriously, I wish he still lived with me because it's really upsetting that all of the, ah, nah, cause that'd suck. Cause then like, as soon as I want to go outside, I'd be like, oh, I got to take Remy too. Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a good thing. Cause now I can kind of go do whatever I want. I can't just like leave him here all day. That kind of sucks. Poor guy. But he's stoked because my brother is home all day and he just gets to hang out with him. And he's all, he's like the most relaxed I've ever seen him. He's so like non-anxious. He just love. It looks like he literally got younger. Like Remy Remington, the dog is so happy that he got younger. Like he looks more youthful. Like he looks like a puppy again. It's so cute. God, I fucking love dogs. That's not true. I love like two dogs, three dogs, maybe. I've liked maybe five dogs my whole life. That's about it. Just dogs are heartbreaking, dude. Jeez. I don't know, man. I like Chase's dog, Trooper. I like my boss's dog, Trooper. I like Kylie's dogs. I forget their names. Honey. What's the other one's name? Scully. Honey and Scully. I like Lambert's dog. I don't even remember his name. <sighs> Never even met him. Cute dog, though. I like, you know, obviously, Remington. Um, I know there's more dogs out there that I probably like. Who else likes dogs? Do you guys have dogs you like? If you have, like, any sort of, like, pit bull, anything close to a pit bull, I like that dog. It's a cute dog. You know? Old dogs, I love old dogs, old fucking grumpy pusses, fucking sour puss dogs, old fucking, oh man. I wrote something like super hateful on here, and I don't mean like hateful like the n-word, I mean like I was so mad about it that I just fucking wrote it down. You ever get so mad you write it down? That's that's a whole nother level of like angry asshole. I don't know anyone personally where like, we're buds and then they get angry and they're like, hold on, hold on. Give, give me a piece of paper, pen and paper, stat. Now I got so angry. I wrote it down. I didn't even type it in my phone. I wrote it down. Sometimes I just type it, type it, it. I type it in my phone or I put it as a status and I just put it on like Twitter or some dumb shit like that or fucking uh, Facebook, make some dumb Facebook joke gets buried in like a dozen memes. No one gets, it's fine. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anymore, guys. Oh, you know what? I'll tell it. Mm. Uh, yeah, I don't need to go there. Anyways, um, thank you to all my listeners in, in India. I have like a bunch of downloads from India. There is a billion people there. I mean, there were. I don't know how this coronavirus is really affecting that. But thank you for all those listeners. But don't. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not as stupid as I might be. Um, I might be a little stupid, but I know that people could just be using VPNs and then downloading through that, and that's totally fine. You could be next door, my next door neighbor downloading from India because you have a VPN. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it just reads it wrong. Maybe I don't know what the hell is going on. That's fine, too. I don't mind. Whew. Yeah, um, but so something super fucking i don't know what is going on on facebook but i've never had so many weird asshole like people from like junior high and high school email me or message me and they just send me like random youtube videos about like fucking cults and weird like conspiracies and then like Dude, I had this one guy fucking, I had to block him, fucking messaged me like a screenshot of some racist shit he said on my post and then he deleted, he did it like I never even saw it, he had to screenshot, he, he essentially tattled on himself, sent me the screenshot and like had to like, 
I don't know if he was doing some like half-ass apology, but it was easily the most disgusting things I've ever heard from someone I know in my entire life. And I mean that with all sincerity. Like I make a lot of jokes. I love jokes. I don't care how far they go. I like when a joke is, you know, pushes the envelope. But this guy wasn't joking and he said a bunch of fucking horrible racist stuff about Asian people, about black people, about, you know, and it was like, on a meme I shared, and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, you dumb asshole? Get the shit off. Are you fucking kidding me? Don't ever, ever, don't ever. And then they fucking sent me another thing, and I should have I should have deleted and blocked him right there. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just being stupid, and I was like, whatever, just fucking good God. This is my own fault. This is my own fault. I should have crossed the line, because right then and there, I was like, this is, this is not okay. This makes my heart hurt. Because this is where I, I become a human, and this is you can't say these things about people and expect like there's no joke in there. There's no satire. It wasn't something like there was no fucking uh, blazing saddles joke in there. Okay, it was just gross, and I'm not even gonna say what it is. I delete a screenshot. It's gone. Don't want to talk about it. And then he sends me another thing. I I sh- I, I shared some f- fake headline. I share. Like, everything that I share on Facebook is, like, 99% of it is just a joke. It's just ironic, satire, humor. Like, I'm just fucking around. I don't care. I'm not taking anything as seriously as you guys are taking it when you see it, I promise. It's just to fuck around. I don't even, like, I, even if it's something I don't agree with, if it's funny or funnier than what I could come up with, I'll share it. It's funny. I like that. If it... If it challenges, like, my beliefs and it's like, ooh, that's a good point. That's funny. Like, I'll share. Like, I don't care. I'll just share things. I don't fucking, I don't know. Maybe I should just stop because I've been getting some, like, stupid, dumb, awful attention. And I wish I could remember, like, what he commented on to, like, think that he could be fucking racist around me. Because none of that shit, I don't, it wasn't even racial. I don't, it, I swear. It's some, whatever I posted was not. It was just, like... God, I don't know. And I don't know. I don't know. I had to literally say, like, you know, that's a joke, right? Like, that headline's fake, right? Like, this is a satirical news website. It's not a real article, asshole. And he just sent back the picture, like, the, what are those stupid, dumb thing, like, the astrology cards or whatever? Like, what are those cards? Like, the, you know, the, like, vapid, dumb, white bit girl you fucking what are they called the cards where like you read them like oh this is what what I, I read cards that were in random order and this is how your life's gonna go and it's like nothing but shit that happens in everyone's lives anyway so it's like oh you mean you're gonna die one day wow who knew oh did someone die wow there's seven billion people on the planet i'm pretty sure you know someone who died that stupid shit what are those cards called palm reading cards i don't know <sighs> I know there's some, like, dumb bitch in a headdress and, like, has a tapestry on her wall that's screaming at her phone right now, like, they're called blah, but shut up. Fuck off. Take the stone out, take the crystal out of your pussy. They have some, like, fucking (laughs) crystal butt plug. They've been, like, (laughs) I'm sorry. Okay, anyways, um, yeah. (sighs) He sent the card with death on it. Because he was, like, dead. Because he was, like, oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, you fucking retard. God damn, dude. Don't tolerate racism. If someone gets, like, a little, like, weird with you and they're, like, oh, you know the Jews control the banks. Like, just cut that shit off right now. Like, they might, but I'm also not going to not like Woody Allen movies because of it. You know what? You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to fucking hate insert Jewish food here. I really don't know much about Jewish culture, but, uh, you know, like, it's so stupid, just fuck off, like, oh, wow, you're gonna come at me with some shitty conspiracy theory, so, in other words, I just need to, like, fucking change something, I just need to be more surreal, I need to have, like, super surreal humor, I need to have, like, jokes that are, like, the Salvador Dali of memes, but also, those people's jokes aren't funny either, fuck, dude, I don't know what to do anymore, I just need to not share anything on Facebook because everyone gets stupid. It's only like the people who were doing nothing with their lives. And they're like, oh, look, he's one of us. Let's message him on Facebook. Stop sending me shit. 
if you message me on Facebook, I'm taking that as a threat. I'm taking that as a personal fucking attack. You need to stop. I don't read that shit. There's no reason to message me on Facebook about anything. If you message me on Facebook and you're not my mom, I'm going to block you, you stupid cunt. You fucking kidding me? Who messages on Facebook anymore? What are you, 40? You damn butthole. Good God. If you message me on Facebook, I'm slashing your tires. If you can even afford tires because you're messaging people on Facebook. It's fucking weird. Ugh, God. So weird. If you just send me random YouTube videos and I'm not responding, don't keep sending them, you stupid. You fucking dummy. I had someone send me like a link and it was like some fucking uh, drop. I don't even know. And I'm like, I'm not clicking a link. There's nothing. My mom sent me videos about like fucking. Oh, God. What did my mom send? My mom sent me videos about like the covid 19 coronavirus like how to take care of yourself and i was like oh, this seems kind of, like she did this early on it was like two weeks ago or something she sent me this video and i was like this doesn't look like it did not look legit like it had poor production quality the sound was like dumbly recorded and i was like who is this and it's like voice of dr kim jung lee or something it was uh this Chinese doctor apparently and then I googled him he's not even a real fucking doctor and I'm like this isn't real mom you didn't do any research I didn't say any of this to her because I'm a good boy and I'm like mom it's not a real doctor that's all I said she just ignored me I'm like hello did you hear me she's like I heard you didn't even make eye contact with me she just mad that I like did you know five seconds of research that she didn't do but she just believed like off the bat it's fine it's fine people are old I get it you know she's almost a senior citizen we all make dumb mistakes one time I tried to buy my brother a 3d printer on the internet and guess what it was fake and I, I got my credit card information stolen and that was embarrassing and i'm like what an idiot i can't believe i believed that it looked like a fishy website but i've bought things off fishy websites like all the time you know i have a fucking chest full of sex toys off of a fucking uh fishy website it's literally called fishy.com but i'm just kidding uh because there might actually be a website called fishy out there that I don't want them to get some like annoying traffic from my listeners from <sighs> or just like get some cease and assist like oh fishy.com is actually the world life's uh, f- uh fish con- conservation and you've driven perverts to our website we that we do not appreciate here's a cease and desist letter um you know just you know like the big cat rescue first oh we haven't even gotten into tiger king i don't have this much time i'm gonna come back later this week because i have so much more shit to cover we don't we i haven't even talked about how khabib Nurmagomedov versus tony al ferguson also got canceled for the fifth time this time not that big of a blow because you know like <laughs> we knew it was getting canceled Everything's getting canceled across the fucking face of the earth. There's no sporting events going on. You think Khabib and Tony Ferguson are ever going to fight? If they fight, you guys can rape me in my ass. I don't even care. Like fucking if they fight, you guys can come run at me fully erect and just dick me into the sphincter. See, like they're not ever going to fight. It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen ever. I'm so mad. I'm not even mad. I've, we haven't even got there. This is the... We're done. I'm just... I can't... I can't. I fucking can't. Stop fucking sending me shit on Facebook, you fucking weirdos. Stop. Khabib and Tony Ferguson are never going to fight. Tony Ferguson would have cut him up. He would have won. El Kukui is the fucking real champion. Not fucking Eagle... Khabib... No, shut the hell up. This is the Bad Etiquette Podcast. Where the fuck... Bad, 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 bad,